So I just wanted to preface today's video by letting you guys know that this is a little different. This is a subject matter that I have really never covered before on the channel. It's a game franchise that I've never really covered and it's a little experimental. So with that being said, we're going to hop right into this real quick. I hope you enjoy the video in its entirety because it was something that kind of came to my mind a couple days ago. Game Awards are coming up and I wanted to discuss why Animal Crossing New Horizons Given everything that has happened in the year of 2020, ultimately, I think deserves to be game of the year and I think is game of the year, even though I doubt it'll end up getting that honor. With that being said, let's jump right into the video. So as I mentioned in that preface, today's video is going to be about Animal Crossing. And if you guys don't know Animal Crossing, it is a life simulator game where you build up a town, whether you're the mayor or you're someone building up an island in this newest rendition. And your island is full of different animals and different NPCs. And your friends through multiplayer can join you on this island. You can swap items and you can help build up your town. It has seasonal events. It has timed events. The newest game has crafting, has new villagers. It's Animal Crossing New Horizons was a game that came out and really for about two months completely took the world by storm. Everybody was playing it for a variety of reasons, and one of those reasons was the state of the world in 2020. It's no secret that we've all been dealing with this immeasurably devastating global pandemic over the last eight or nine months with no real end in sight just yet. And a lot of that culminated in my feeling over the last few weeks that Animal Crossing New Horizons should be game of the year. Now, as you guys know, the game awards are tonight. Uh, there's a lot of nominees that are very that were very good games this year for the game of the year category, whether it's Ghosts of Tsushima, whether it's Hades, whether it's Doom Eternal, the Final Fantasy remake. There's a lot of really good games. And it's my opinion that Animal Crossing probably isn't going to win Game of the Year because of its style, because of the type of game it is. Um, you're probably going to see Ghost of Tsushima win Game of the Year just because it was a massive AAA title. It was very popular when it came out. It reviewed incredibly well. Thing is, so did Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing New Horizons by all accounts, is the best entry in the franchise. It is the best selling entry in the franchise. And it is the best, it is just full of content that Animal Crossing New Leaf, the previous entry in the franchise, really could only rival in terms of popularity. This game also came at an incredibly well established time. Originally, it was a 2019 game, but it ended up getting delayed into 2020 and came right at the beginning of COVID-19. Now, on YouTube, talking about this pandemic is not the most encouraged thing. Early on, you saw a lot of channels get demonetized and get strikes for talking about this because of YouTube's rules on, uh, on content, talking about war, conflict, politics, global pandemics. It hurts your channel. But I felt that this was important to make because part of the reason I think Animal Crossing deserves Game of the Year is because of the state of the world. For so many months, and even now today, a lot of us are stuck in our homes. We can't go to work. We can't do the things that we used to do on a day-to-day -day basis. A time with family, time with friends has been cut in half because through no fault of our own, countries are struggling, especially in the United States, with how to handle this pandemic, how to keep people in their homes without stepping on individual liberties is a conversation you hear a lot. And we're grappling with it in December when there are there is good news of a vaccine coming, but we're going into a winter where you're going to see numbers start to spike. And this happened when Animal Crossing came out. Animal Crossing released back in March of this year, and that's really when the pandemic started to hit its stride in the West and really started to force quarantines and force lockdowns. Started with Italy and eventually spread to the rest of Europe, and then it hit the United States. And for so many months there, March, April, May, June, July, we really weren't doing anything. Businesses were shuttered. We were forced to stay in our homes, forced to, today, mask up whenever we couldn't stay six feet apart from one another. When it was going to buy groceries, going out to walk in the park, going to just get essential services, you had to be safe. You had to keep your distance, socially distance as they call it. A lot of this is incredibly straining to the human psyche. 
a lot of this is incredibly stressful to our individual, our mental state. And that also directly affects our physical state. Animal Crossing is a game where you're able to escape into a world where none of this exists. Build your own community. Interact with other players and NPCs in a largely peaceful world where you're able to control the outcome of your day. You're able to put as much effort into a day as you want, as much effort into a week as you want, and you won't be penalized if you barely do anything, and you'll be massively rewarded if you put in the time and energy. It's a game where you get to build a town, you get to build relationships with neighbors and friends, and build up a community that started from nothing. It is deeply relaxing in its combination of new music and new crafting mechanics that make everything feel a lot more tangible and make the rewards and the effort you put in to get these things uh, so much more, you feel it. You can, you get so much satisfaction from the early ons of the game, building up your little area, starting to craft, and then eventually getting access to more materials, more recipes, all of that. In a time where we're dealing with a quarantine and a global pandemic, it probably got a lot of people through some very difficult times. And that's something that's, that goes over just typical video game talk. It's not about the performance and the graphics. It's not about the gameplay loop and the, the deep story. Animal Crossing really doesn't have a story. Animal Crossing is a game about relationships, interactions, and doing things the way you want. And in a year where we were deeply restricted on so many fundamental levels and still are, where holidays and family events were taken away from us, where people couldn't go to weddings, people couldn't see their loved ones in the hospital, people couldn't go to funerals for people that they truly cared about. It was just unbelievably saddening and stressful at times. And to have a game like Animal Crossing that on top of being massively critically acclaimed, Animal Crossing New Horizons has done incredibly well in terms of sales and in terms of review scores, whether it's from the professional reviewing class or if it's from just everyday people. This is a game that directly goes against all of the stress that we were feeling in this year. Animal Crossing is a game that in any year lets you escape your regular life and lets you enjoy something where you can take a moment Get away from the stresses of class, the stresses of family, stress of work. And you can just enjoy something that is totally yours. You get to control everything. You get to make it as relaxing or as strenuous as you want when you're dealing with spiders and scorpions attacking you on different islands. You're able to bring whatever villagers you want to build the type of community that you desire. You don't have to worry about being pushed away from your family and from your friends like we all were in this pandemic. And that is that is a benefit that we really did not have for most of the year. That societal importance that I had mentioned a couple times before is something that these other games really don't have. Now, listen, video games, just like with movies and television shows, it's a medium that allows you to escape the real world and kind of forget about the problems and the struggles for a little bit. And that's of course the case with a lot of these other Game of the Year candidates, Ghost of Tsushima, Doom Eternal, Final Fantasy, Hades, a lot of these games that are up for grabs this year. But none of them run counter, run parallel to the experiences that we're having in the real world. A lot of them are just escapism. You can jump into the samurai world of Ghost of Tsushima and put in hundreds of hours into a deep, enriching story. You can play Doom Eternal and murder demons for hours on end, as I did with the original Doom, and have an absolute blast with it. But Animal Crossing gives you what you're missing in the real world. It allows you to plug in that part of our society that we've had stripped away from us this year. And that's something that none of these other games do. It's something that life simulator games, that Animal Crossing is sort of one of them, gives you that a lot of these other games don't. Now, Animal Crossing is not the typical game that usually wins Game of the Year. Nintendo's gotten lucky in the last couple years. Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is my favorite game of all time, uh, won it in 2017, and Mario Odyssey that same year was a runner-up. Nintendo does win Game of the Year, but a lot of these other big AAA studios on Xbox and PlayStation usually end up taking it. And I think that's probably going to be the same way this year. Now, does Animal Crossing have a chance? Yes. Because like I mentioned, and I think it's obvious to everyone, it had immense cultural impact this year. You saw celebrities playing it. You saw politicians playing it. 
you saw presidential campaigns using it as a platform to advertise. It was a game that took the world by storm in a way that games like Pokemon Go did in 2016 and in a way like Animal Crossing New Leaf did when it came out on 3DS. So it's a game that has immense impact and it's a game that ultimately I think if I was giving it to be game of the year, not just for the video game itself, which is phenomenal, and you'll see some gameplay of my island on screen throughout this video, I have put maybe 50 hours into Animal Crossing. It's not my type of game. I love it. I, I really do. I love the seasons. I love the items. I love the character dialogue and interactions between the NPCs and yourself. I love the aesthetic and I love the music. It's just not a game that I can deeply dig into, but I feel that I can still appreciate everything that it gave to our world this year and that it will continue to give to us as we get new seasonal updates every few months for the foreseeable future. It's an experience a lot like Smash Brothers Ultimate in that it brought the whole community together in a way that most games don't something that Among Us did recently, even though that was not a 2020 game, so it's not really a game of the year candidate. It's amazing. Animal Crossing did a lot in the beginning of this year, not just to bolster Nintendo's lineup, not just to do immense sale numbers and make the franchise incredibly popular and make it a pillar of Nintendo moving forward, but it also did a lot for society. It brought a lot of people together in a time where it was really dark, in a time where we didn't know what was happening. There was a lot of confusion, and that's something that most games really can't claim. And that's why ultimately, I think Animal Crossing New Horizons should be game of the year. We'll see if it is tonight. Uh, this is a bit of a different video. Talking about the Game Awards, something I've never done before. Talking about Animal Crossing, something that I've really never done before. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more analysis videos like it, please be sure to let me know down in the comments section. Be sure to drop a like on the video. And if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. Do you think Doom Eternal is game of the year? Because I heard it was really good. Uh, do you think... The, the, the societal impact of Animal Crossing New Horizons isn't to the level of which I'm trying to sell it as? I don't know. Any opinion, I would love to hear. Uh, if you want to engage in this dialogue more, you can head over to the Vibrary Discord, which is also in the description. Chat with us on there. Head over to my Twitter, at LinkyYT. Follow me there for a lot of really useless tweets most of the time. And with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you tune into the Game Awards tonight and check out if Animal Crossing hopefully wins. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.